It's time for Tyler's Tip of the Day. More critical. You can just watch what happens here. This is seepage from the outside coming in. That's not good. Get a little closer down there. Anyway, there's what we got. I had some water leakage coming in into my basement from outside, and I found that it was coming in below this wall here, and I have gutters and downspouts, but there was still water coming into my basement there just seeping in, and I wanted to get to the bottom of it. Why? And uh, so I've come up here and got my ladder, and I'm coming up to check and make sure there's no leaves blocking, my, and as I look down here, Holy cow, this whole thing is full of water. So that means as the rain is coming off of my she my uh, shingles here, it's coming down to this and going straight off the edge right there. And that's where I'm getting my water coming in in the basement. So we've got to get that stuff cleaned out of there on the end, wherever the jam is. Probably right down there at the very end. And once I get that taken care of, then I'm probably going to solve my problem down there. Okay, so I've decided to continue this video and show you what my plans are to resolve my problem with water accumulating there. And uh, I'm gonna get this cleared away, whatever the blockage is up there at the top, probably. And when I do, all this water is gonna try to drain into the ground, which is already saturated. So, as you can see, I have a pretty good slope here going from left to right over here. And I think it'll drain away from the house. But I just gotta get it in there. Now, so what my, my plan is, is to Number one, when I break those leaves loose up top, I'm going to have a lot of water. So I'm gonna try and capture it, believe it or not, in these bags. And to stop the flow up there, I'm gonna take this rag, and once I see the bag is getting near where I can carry it, <laughs> then I'm going to uh, stuff the rag in there and keep the flow from coming out, and then we'll switch out the bag. And I'm using four very big rubber bands right here uh, that I'm gonna strap the bag uh, on there with, and I'm not gonna waste your time, but you'll see it when it's done. And we'll see how this turns out. Okay, so I've got my rubber band wrap bag onto the end here. And now I'm going to make my way up that ladder and see if we can get this unclogged here. And then see what happens. I'm not going to forget my shirt so that I can stuff it in there when I break it loose. All right, we'll be back in a jiffy. See what happens here. Okay. Here. One of Tyler's tips of the day would be probably don't stand this high on your ladder if you don't have someone watching, but I got a firm grip here. So here we go. Let's see what we can find here. Oh, look at that. Well, <laughs> my bag idea didn't work too good, but I think with the amount of flow I'm gonna have, I'm just gonna let it go. Okay, so for a final note on this, I did get all the water that's been uh, clogged up there into that gutter out, and I am able to watch the flow pattern of it, although some of it does come this direction and get off that way and down towards the lake. Much of it I see is now coming back this way, and that's closer to the home, so I'm going to have to do one of two things. I can either extend out this downspout about two or three more feet and uh, get it where it starts uh, on its downward slope here. Uh, or I can just um, put in some fill dirt right around here, which is probably what I'm going to do right for now, and I uh, hope that that helps. So I'll be trying to use clay, actually, because that's a little more water resistant. Until I get myself an extension on this downspout, I am going to try what I've done here, and that is to build this up right here so water won't come this way. And I created a small channel right here 
not much of one, but just a little bit that direction. And let's just see what happens here now when we put some water into our uh, downspout in splash. Let's see where this water heads now. We can get it to go away from the house. Oh, I like that. That's much better. We'll go ahead and push that down too. So we can keep that from. Okay. And we'll just put a little bit more filled dirt there in that area, I think, and we should have this where it doesn't even travel that way at all. And that's looking pretty good, and it's going right over here. And that is the direction we want it to go, right down to our lake, which is positioned right over there. So, folks, if you happen to have some water problems in your basement, I sure hope that this will solve your problem for you. That's going to do it for Tyler's tip of the day. Bye-bye now. Bye. -bye now. Bye.